Who ideal was it for Biggie to come to L.A.? Biggie wanted to go to L.A. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to be there. A lot of people don't know this. I always tell people, Big loved L.A. I mean, I mean, everybody should know that by now. He had a whole song called Going Back to Cali. He broke down the whole Cali lifestyle, culture. You know what I'm saying? Um, he wanted to be there. But Puffy was working on No Way Out. And Big was just finishing up on Life After Death. So he was like, I'm just going to come out there, help you finish up your album, put the finishing touches on my album, and we just going to hang out there for a while. We ain't supposed to have been there as long as we was, but... That was all big idea. He wanted to stay there. He he loved the vibe of LA. He wanted to be there. So the whole rumor that Biggie wanted to go overseas, that wasn't true at all. It wasn't no it shouldn't have been no rumor that he wanted to go. He was supposed to go to do promotion. But they was only sending me and him out there. His road manager couldn't go because our passport situation was kind of like screwed up and um he was like, All right, when I go to LA, who's gonna handle all my business for me? Little C's? He's gonna be my manager? Like so he did everything in his world to not to not go. Like telling Puff, like, yo, can I cancel that? Like, I don't want to just go out there with just me and C's. You know what I'm saying? Like, and me working. Like, who's gonna like really overlook everything I have to do out there? So he didn't want to go with just me and him. So he was like, you know, let's 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 find something to do where I can stay. I will work. And uh the time he stayed, that's when he did the Benjamins remix and he did the victory verse. He did all that around that time when we were supposed to went to London. So that's why he, he was supposed to be there for work, but he didn't want to go because they were just trying to send just me and him. And uh, he, he couldn't take a manager with him because all our homeboys' passports, the situations, you know, wasn't situated for everybody to travel overseas. So he wound up just telling Puff, can he cancel that? And he'll sit back in uh, LA and do some more work. And that's what happened. Out of curiosity, was there anybody in Big Ear telling him not to go to LA or everybody was down with going to LA? I mean, yeah, it was some people saying we it's not a good idea for us to not be there, to, for us to be there. Yeah, we was getting that for some of our friends, some of our, our friends in the industry. You know what I mean? It was like, y'all don't think it's a good look for you to be out there. But, you know, Big was his own man. And, you know, we all kind of followed suit the way he wanted to do. Big was the boss. None of us was here. None of us would have been in that position we was in if it wasn't for him. So it was always his call. You know what I mean? And he wanted to be there, point blank, period. How long was y'all in L.A.? For about two months, almost two months. How was it out there? It was love. It was love. We was all over the place, having fun, partying, going to eat, going shopping. You know, it was just all love. Every now and then, you know, you would you you would get somebody yell something. You know, you get somebody ride past, yell West Side, or throw it up at you at a mall or something. But there was nothing that we felt like it was life threatening to where we felt like our life is in danger type of thing. We knew where we were. We knew what was going on, but more than anything, we were still getting love. It was still love. We were still getting that support. You know what I mean? Like it, you know, just because we had a situation with somebody don't mean the whole LA hated us. It wasn't like that. You know what I mean? Like it was love. We were still getting that. But you know, of course, you every now and then you would just get some bullshit. Somebody yelling something at you, or you know, somebody would see you in the mall, throw up west side, that type of thing. But it was nothing life threatening at all. Was Biggie getting any threats when he was out there? We've been getting threats, though. It wasn't no L.A. threats. We've been getting threats when we was back home. We had crank calls calling our phone saying they was going to do something. We lived in Jersey. So it wasn't nothing about it being in L.A. It was just we was in a different scenery at that time. That's it. We was been, we been was getting those. It wasn't just, it didn't just start when we got to California, you know? So people was randomly calling Biggie phone, like, talking crazy? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, all the time. Happened, happened way more than, way more than a few times. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy, yo. And Biggie, he wasn't studying none of that. Yeah. He wasn't tripping at all. Like, all right, fuck it. You know, what can you do? You can't stop it. You know, people go call your phone, say shit. You know, it's, you know, we just looked like it was just, I guess, some of the shit that came with the came with the game type of thing. You know what I mean? We we ain't gotta tolerate it. We just hang up the phone. You know what I mean? But yeah, and we felt, I guess, he felt like that was something that probably come with the success of him blowing up. And and of course, we having issues with people and. You know, situations like that may arouse, and you know, he he wasn't tripping off it. You know, right. So yeah, man. I guess we can kill that theory, man. Cause you know, I'm pretty sure you heard this. People trying to blame Puffy, saying that um he forced Biggie to come to L.A. So Biggie wanted to go to L.A. himself. So we can kill all that then. So yeah, definitely. Big was out there. Big was out there on his own. You know, what I mean, like you know, of course, like I said, everybody knew what was going on, but 
Biggie wanted to be there. He loved the weather. He loved the weed. He loved the women. You know, we loved the vibe out there. Like, it was, and it was new to us because we weren't from there. So, you know, he liked it, that vibe out there. And, that, and that's just what it was. We was really enjoying ourselves out there outside of all the other stuff that was happening. It wasn't nothing too crazy. We was, like, really enjoying it, having a good time.